Hey everyone, how's it going? This is going to be a little more of a sharing my day experience, maybe some motivational here. It's 8 o'clock p.m. I started this day today at 4.30 a.m. and the sun's glowing on my face. That's not me with the with the red face. but um, So 4.30 a.m. started working on my, uh, my membership this morning that, that I've talked about um, in, in other videos. And I uh, came in to, to the office this morning and I had a, a building agreement that I sent to somebody on Friday and we, we had to increase pricing, you know, which they were, they were fine with. But then we also, like I talked about in just a recent video, we had to put a, like a lumber escalation clause into the building agreement and I wasn't sure I, I honestly wasn't sure and i don't think they were either if if they were going to move ahead with it um so i had that meeting this afternoon and it, it went really well and i, I just i guess i just want to say that you know anytime you're dealing with with somebody and and you're and you're talking such high dollar amounts don't ever take anything for granted um be honest and and upfront don't just assume that hey, this is what the what the building amount is now. So if if you want to build, that's what you're going to have to pay. You know, don't have that type of, of an of an attitude. That's not gonna that's not gonna go over well. You know, I knew what <clears throat> what the concerns were before I went into the meeting, and part of it was myself trying to you know now that we had a, a, a total amount and we had the building contract, you know, trying to rush and basically say okay, let's let's get this to the bank now let's let's get going with this and from from my perspective or point of view that's that's exactly what i wanted to do because i know that as time goes on the prices go up and and i, I want what's at everybody's best interest because if, if the sooner that we can get things to the bank the sooner we can get the home started for them and and there's less of or no chance of any any additional cost occurring there so uh, you know going before I went into that meeting, though, I was feeling pretty discouraged. I I started working on a, another home build project that I had, and <clears throat> looking at what the difference in the price was between when I'm working on it today, back when I first started talking with him, it's almost like a hundred thousand dollars difference for for the house. And it's a big house, but it, it it's very hard, you know, when myself us being a custom builder a lot of these projects take a while it's never just somebody comes in give them a price they're ready to sign a contract and get started with a lot of this we meet give a ballpark price and then we're looking for lots and then we find a lot and maybe we we don't like that one anymore and we go look for another lot and then we have to redesign the house and now three months have passed from the the time that I first gave a ballpark price until right now and now here we are you know I'm a hundred thousand dollars more for the build and and I mean nobody likes having that conversation with with somebody I haven't had it yet I feel like they're gonna be understanding because again I'm gonna go back to this if you're honest and you're always, always, always honest. You can never not be honest, not even once. But if you're always honest with your clients, they see that. They, they, they hear that in your voice. They can see it in your eyes. If, if, if you don't give them any reason to not believe you, they're not going to distrust you. So honesty is the best policy. So, you know, I, I kind of got down. I was starting to get down. I, I One of the owners... Um, one of the other owners, Jim, came in and we were talking a little bit about, again, prices and the homes that we've got going. And I told him that, you know, I had a couple coming in that I sent over the building agreement to. This is the first one that we had the lumber escalation clause in. At that point, you know, and what I told him is I don't know if they're, if they're going to sign it and move forward. You know, so just kind of those down, you know, low negative vibes there. And really throughout the whole day, kind of leading up to that meeting, it did it did get into my head. You know, I was ready for the possibility of them not moving forward. And 
And then that kind of snowballs, you know, because then I'm thinking about this other one that I'm working on. And what, what if he says that's just going to be too much now? Those, those are two clients that, that I'm financially, you know, with my financial budget, with our budget for a business, with my own goal. You know, those are two clients that I was planning on building for. And, and if, if now all of a sudden they're both gone, that, that puts a dent in things. So went into the meeting um, and kind of spent a lot of the day while I was working with that in my mind. But I, I really, what I did is I, like an hour before the meeting, I, I snapped out of it. I knew one of the things, and I, don't, I didn't have their full set of blueprints back yet. So they're, they're signing a building agreement. We've got a preliminary plan. The last time that we met, we made a lot of changes to the plan. And that was one of the things that I knew they were going to have issues with was moving forward and and you know submitting a building agreement to the bank and here we've just got this preliminary plan with a bunch of markups on it they, they're not even looking at you know what their actual layout's going to be because so much stuff changed on there so an hour before the meeting what i did is i, I printed out the the building agreement because we were going to go over this in person um, they were having a hard time i sent it over electronically they're having a hard time you know, seeing it on the phone and for a lot of circumstances, especially this one, it was just better to meet in, in person to go over this one. So I printed out the building agreement and then I, I printed out a copy of their plan and I basically redrew it all up. I, I, I printed out a new plan. I, I took black ink instead of red to make it look more professional. I took my white out. I drew in all of the plan changes there and I had that ready to go so that they were able to sit down and look at that and see that, okay, the, the price that we have, the building agreement that we have is, is based on this plan here. And yes, we still need to get the full set of blueprints going, but they can at least see what, what the, the plan looked like with, with all of their changes and, and approve that. So the, they, they come in and I've got the plan on the table where they're gonna sit and I've got the building contract there. And this really started things off in such a great way. She, she looked at it, she looked at the plan and I printed it out in 11 by 17. So it was big and easy to read. And she said, oh, you got the plan back. She was so excited about that because the plans have been taking, there's a long lead time with them. They've been taking time. And she was just excited to, to you know, cause I knew that was one of the issues to, be comfortable with moving forward. She wanted to see the plan revised. So she had that and, and I said, well, no, I actually just, I, I drew that up and we're going to incorporate that into the building agreement. I wrote on the top of that plan, exhibit A. And I wrote into the building contract that the building contract is to include exhibit A. So, you know, we had a plan that we were moving forward with, but we had markups with it. So, you know, they want to feel more comfortable and know that, okay, the plan that I want with the revisions that, that we want made to it, that's what I want. That's what we're basing the contract off of. So I was able to take that, what I redrew, and make that part of the contract. I think that really that really set the tone for, for, for things. Um, and we just went through and, and just talked about everything. And I, I no rush. Nothing like that. I just wanted them to feel as comfortable as possible. And they're great people. I mean, they're, they're, my meetings are always fun. I always end up cracking up a lot at the meetings. So it's, they're, they're meetings that I look forward to. Uh, but it went great. And they signed the, you know, she even said right before she signed the building agreement, I didn't think I was going to be signing this today. And I felt so good hearing that. Like, I did my job. And, and I'm not just benefit. Yeah, like, yes, I made a sale. I did anything I needed to to get them to sign that. Con no, no, I feel great because it's a mutual beneficial thing. Like they are going to be moving forward now, building their house. I know for sure the house prices aren't going to be going down. So there wasn't going to be the scenario of, well, if we wait, you know, it could end up being a little bit less. That I knew that wasn't going to be the case. So they're going to be benefited. We're going to be benefited. It just, was such a great feeling. And then right after that, I had another meeting and this is my first initial meeting with them. So they've got a big budget, but they want to build a big, nice home. You know, we're talking, you know, million dollars, around a million dollars. And so this was my first meeting where, where we really 
talked a lot about the, the price fluctuation and I just wanted to, to communicate the fact that you know we know what the pricing is today but we don't know what it's going to be like and the pricing that that we had you know years five years ago is way different than it is today so we we talked a lot about the pricing and and i feel very good and comfortable with the fact that they completely understand they're understanding it again great people we had an amazing meeting we laughed a lot we talked a lot we got a lot accomplished but we're on such a good first step because they know what to expect. They they understand that that you know things are going to cost a lot more than they did a couple of years ago, and they're and they're good with that. Um, so it was an amazing meeting, and from all indications, we're we're moving forward, and we're going to be building this house. So what I wanted to get at is earlier in the day, I was feeling discouraged and like, oh no, what if this bill goes away and that one goes away? And now I'm coming home after a hard day's work and I got a building agreement signed and I had an amazing meeting with the second couple, which is going to be another building agreement in the near future. And I feel amazing. And I just want to say, don't ever get up. If you give up, when you get discouraged about things, don't give up, be honest, stay calm, be understanding, be empathetic, and, and it'll, work, it'll work out for you in most cases. You may not win every single one, but for the most part, it's, it's going to work out. And, and it always has, it always does for me. And so just wanted to share that. I, I feel amazing now coming home. I'm going to make a pizza and scarf it down. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. That's it. I know I just mentioned my membership in a previous video. Uh, if you're interested in that, it's going to help you get from where you are right now to where you want to be, and that's having a spec home built, selling it, making money with the spec build, or if you're somebody that's already building a spec or you've already kind of started being a, a builder, you know, taking it to the, to the next level here. So if you're interested, please email me. I'll put my email address in the link in the description below. Have a great night. God bless.